Hey, what's up guys? This is Dom from MacMixing.com and today I want to go over an issue that has plagued iPhones for years, but it's just something that I actually had to deal with and I found a pretty cool solution. This is actually a Cydia Tweak video and the Cydia Tweak's been out for, for a while now. It's called Color Profiles. Now the issue that I want to bring up here is the massive difference in tone between these two iPhones. As you can see, the one on the left has like a more yellowish type of tint and this one has a cooler blue type of tint. I don't know about you guys, but that annoys the crap out of me. I want white to be white and not like this off yellowish color. The reason why I have this other iPhone here that's yellow is because Verizon actually sent it out as a replacement and for whatever reason it's got this ugly yellow tint to it. Now you have a couple options here. You could go to the Apple store and try to have them replace it, but you very well may get another one with a yellow tint um, or, or you could call Verizon and the same thing could happen and it could get very annoying. Now, if you've run out of options, there is one thing that will help you and it's a Cydia tweak. Like I said, it's called Color Profiles. Now this app isn't free, it's $1.99 in the Big Boss repo, but what it will allow you to do is amazing. It'll allow you to calibrate your iPhone's screen, literally. So as you can see, this one's nice and got a nice cool blue to it. And I mean, there's just a massive difference. See the blue there and then the like off green yellowish color. It's hard to show you the exact representation through the camera. Um, so this may be a, exaggerated a little bit on this side, but, and so I want to show you guys this cool tweak color profiles. Like I said, it's been out for a while, but I just discovered it and it's uh, a real lifesaver. So in color profiles, you have the ability to set the color temperature right here at the top. And what that'll do is that'll actually, literally, it'll get rid of that yellow just with one touch. Now check it out, I'm gonna move it over. And as you can see, it's already changing that color temperature. There's also a whole bunch of other options if you go into advanced. Now screwing with these can really mess up your phone. Not mess it up, but you could, I mean, look at if I go all the way over, makes my phone all green looking, all reddish colored, you know, but, but it'll allow you to calibrate the color of your phone. And after a while, if you start playing with it, you can really get a nice cool feeling. So if you start adjusting these levels here, you can start to get it to look halfway normal um, in comparison to the other iPhone. And let me just try to get this going here. So as you can see now, they look a lot closer in color. Let's go back to the main settings screen here. So as you can see there, that looks a lot, a lot different than it was before. And then what's even cooler about this in color profiles is you actually uh, literally have profiles that you can set. So we can go into profiles here and we can change that to different profiles, literally, like completely different color schemes. Classic Mac. Like, look at that, it looks like an old school, uh, old school phone. There's all kinds of uh, themes. My favorite one right here is actually grayscale. As you can see, it kind of puts the whole thing in, uh, in, in black and white almost. And it, it really like grayscales it down. But there's just a, a ton of different ways you can arrange this. But eventually, if you tweak it enough, you can get the two phones looking pretty darn similar. And obviously, I don't know if you'll have another phone to compare it to, but the yellow screen issue makes my OCD go off the wall. So using this uh, tweak right here, it will really help you calibrate the color of your screen. Now that's obviously not a, like a permanent solution and I'm not saying that Apple should get away with it because there's a, a Cydia tweak here that'll fix things. So I would say if you have a yellow screen, definitely go talk to the people at the Apple store and see if they will help you fix that. If not, I would try color profiles because it will definitely change the tone of your iPhone. And as you can see there, I mean, that's that's more exaggerated blue, but it's a lot closer to that one than it is uh, yellow. So thanks guys, I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, this color profiles, it's in the Big Boss repo for $1.99. The developer is Ryan Petrich. Go check it out, you guys, it's pretty awesome. Thank you for watching. Please click this button and subscribe. And our Twitter link is here. Our Facebook link is here. Thank you very much. This is Dom from MacMixing.com and have a great day.